uh, same link so now uh, we have to click on stat firstly we will make some simple example with a same link and then we'll see the uh, some examples that are already made on the uh, same link so click on start so in the start you have to go in the Simulink. In Simulink, you have to go into embedded target for C6000 DSP, and then uh, uh, for right now we, we don't need to go here. We can just simply go to the library browser. So now in the library browser, we can search about our DSK kit. We can simply write 6713, and uh, we can press enter. So it has found out some uh, DSK kits which are available with the Simulink. So now in our in the f first example with the Simulink, we'll just simply take the data from ADC and we'll give the data to the uh, DSC. So means whatever is coming on the line in that will be listened to us on the speakers. So for that we have to firstly we have to use that C6713 DSK board this is the board configuration we can add it to current model but we don't have any current model so it will ask us to create a new one click on ok so now it's adding it so now it, it will ask us for uh, the default configuration so we can uh, click on yes so now uh, our next thing is to uh, uh, we, we don't need to write here we can just go here below and we can write on board support on of 66713 so here we have uh, you can see we have some uh, models in the same link about ADC model DAC LED reset and switches so firstly we'll just take a reset it, it, this is to reset our processor and next we'll use the ADC we'll take an ADC here and we'll take a DAC we'll take the data from ADC and we'll give it to DAC so just click here and click here so now we have connected our ADC to DAC so that means the ADC data will go to DAC and we can listen whatever is coming so uh, second thing if you want to configure these things we can double click on that particular so in the ADC model we can see that ADC source it can be line in or it can be mic in it depends we can select it like this so we are going to select line in sample rate uh, so for right now I'm going to make it 80, 80 48 so all the things are okay so click on okay so as I've already told you that we don't have a DSP bias library files so I we cannot incorporate the DSP bias so we can click on uh, right click here and we can go into configuration parameters in this configuration we can uh, we have to disable our DSP bias incorporation with the software so we'll go here and it here we, we can deselect uh, this incorporate DSP bias and click on OK so now uh, our program our modeling is done so we can build this code on the kit for that just simply uh, 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 there is a shortcut uh, that's a control B we have to click on control B and uh, uh, we can see here in the command window that there the some commands will be executed here and we can see it's generating the code and uh, for from that same link so now it's connecting to Code Composer Studio. Uh, it's making some files. It's loading some libraries. It's now it's doing some another. Now it's writing a source file that's untitled. We uh, because our model name is untitled. Untitled main dot c. now it has directly uh, opened the code composer studio by itself and it has included that uh, untitled project into this it and uh, now it's burning the code 
now it is uh, burning the code here so now it's saying that there is no errors and uh, now it will automatically burn the code it's resetting the code composer uh, that uh, kit so now it's loading the code and it has loaded the code so now it is running the kit so uh, we can listen it here that uh, it's playing the song so now we can see it's playing the song So like uh, it's playing this song, uh, so uh, we can see uh, in the video also that the amplifier is just simply playing this song. So now we can. Uh, simply close this code composer studio uh, and we are going to our uh, untitled model and uh, we'll just uh, close it and uh, this is this was a simple example that how we can use the simulink modeling uh, now uh, we'll use that pre-made examples and we'll see the pre-made pre examples so there there is a very good pre-made example uh, about reverberation that whatever we are speaking it's just echoing it uh, uh, 10 or t uh, 8 or 10 times so for that go on start in the start just go on the simulink in the simulink just go on the embedded target for C6000 uh, DSP and uh, go into demos now in the demos we have to expand our embedded target and again in the audio we have to expand so there are some uh, pre-made some echo cancellation some uh, there is one example noise cancellation wavelength and uh, DAP switches control and reverberation so firstly we'll uh, we are going to so we'll firstly see the reverberation example uh, in that reverberation example whatever we are speaking it will uh, uh, get echoing back at 10 or 12 times like uh, it will decrease it with uh, each echo we can we have to click on C6713 DSK this one and it is opening this model and uh, uh, we can again go on configuration parameters and we have to this click or we can to de-click on the incorporate DSP by So here in this we have to de-click on this incorporate DSP bias and we have to click on OK. So now our next thing is to simply click on uh, click uh, that uh, control plus B. So now it will again make the code and it will open the CCS it will burn the code and it will run the kit and we can see that uh, now we are going to use the mic in so we need some mic so that uh, wh whatever we will speak uh, so uh, 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 we I, I can just uh, ex uh, show you uh, that uh, uh, this is the data coming from the ADC and uh, it's going to some adder to that adder there are two things coming whatever the data is coming and it is delayed for some time 24,000 samples and it's going back by using some feedback gain uh, that's point eight. that means whatever is coming it's 80% only that is going back that means if the uh, voltage or if the power level is t uh, 10 micro uh, watts then it's uh, giving back the, uh, back the 80 micro watts uh. so like this uh, we are adding the two things and uh, we are giving it to some 
uh, again to the adder and uh, f and directly we are giving the data from uh, ADC to DAC that means the crunch data and the delayed data with some uh, feedback gain that's uh, getting add and so like this we can uh, uh, so we can see the rever reverberation so now it has opened the code composer studio uh, and uh, it's running that uh, kit that means it has burned all these things so now I will uh, connect the mic with the kit and uh, uh, I will speak and I will uh, I will you'll just see that how this th that reverberation example is working hello 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 so now so now so whatever I have he wants 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 he so this was the reverberation example so uh, in the for this video it's uh, okay for in the next video uh, we'll uh, make the FIR filters with the Simulink modeling uh, and uh, next to that videos we'll uh, make some modulators and uh, some another interesting stuff so for right now thank you